Today, we're actually gonna upgrade our PlayStation 5. We're gonna set up this SSD. It's an NVMe, one terabyte. We're gonna set it up on the secondary drive. All right, so we're gonna pull up and slide down. That's what you gotta do, all right? There we go. We're gonna go ahead and unscrew it, but before that, Matt, make sure you clean it up. That's the perfect thing to do. Just Remove it. And now you have all these bays in here, all right? For the PlayStation, now it goes down, right? So make sure that NVNE is down at the bottom, right? So if you guys can see the PlayStation, it comes with the screw already. You don't have to take it off, all right, yet until you're ready to go. Now there's different millimeters, 30, 42, 60, and 80. They do have 110. Right now we're currently going to replace some 80 millimeters on the actual PlayStation 5. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so we're going to remove the actual divider and set it up at 80 millimeters to replace it. So to remove the 80 the, the divider, it's already included with the screw. So don't lose it. Just drag it there and place it there. So this will actually keep the actual SSD drive above it. We guys can see that. So let's go ahead and put it together. And that's it. So we have the divider in there and we're set. So let's go ahead and put the screw back. Okay. Oh, we got the SSD drive set up. So it, as soon as we turn it on, it says, do you want to format it? We're going to say, go ahead and format. We're going to format it and it's going to automatically format. Do not turn it off. Don't mess with it. Let it complete it or it's not going to finish, but it's for a quick process. All right. So now we have our speed, read speed, 5074 megabytes per second. All right. 5074 megabytes per second. SSD drive is set up already. Uh, we have to hit OK. And then in order to format to change the games, it, you have to install it. So you have to go under settings, storage, install location. And that's where we're going to start setting up a couple of games in there that we can download. Go ahead and hit OK. Now here we're going to go to settings. And then we're going to go to storage. Here's a very critical part, right? It's asking you... Right now, currently, our storage is almost full. The, this is the main storage. Now, if we drop it down here, it's the second storage. But we can set this up as the as the default, so it could start saving your games in here, and you can even transfer games through here too. So, if you want to do that, you have to set up the storage as the default. All right. So, you want to set up as this secondary, the M.2 as the main. You're gonna have to go install locations, and it says games game uh ps5 games go ahead and it says console you have to choose it which one you want this one and now when every time you download a game or you start installing a game it's going to install into the new drive now you can set up apps to save there even like it give you an option playstation 5 games or playstation 4 you could distinguish which one's what so very simple to use i hope you guys enjoy the video